Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plan with me video for you today. This is going to be an Erin Condren plan with me for the week of January 13th through January 19th. And I will be using this gorgeous kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. It is called Stay In. It is a silver foiled winter kit and I absolutely love it. I think these blush pinks are so pretty and I love some hot cocoa. Definitely isn't going to be snowing here in Georgia, but I just think this is perfect for winter. So I did pick up the full kit and this is on glossy paper. So you've got your full boxes, some scripts, icons, and functional items. Um, labels, quarter boxes, half boxes, little things, washi strips and bow headers and script headers, and then your second foiled page which has some sideboard items and then the gorgeous foiled bottom washi and date covers. So, so excited about this. I really think this format has almost everything that I need, so I'm excited to use it and this is my second spread in the 2020 Erin Condren, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, the one thing is there's not a quote box, so I might pull in a quote overlay to go over one of these um, just to put right over here. And then I think the only other thing I have to pull in is scripts for my sidebar. So I'm going to get started with the bottom washi, and then I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to be mixing up my videos a little bit now that I'm kind of getting used to this. I'm going to do my bow headers and my date covers and then I will be back to go over the sidebar with you. Alright, so I've got my bottom wash sheet, my date covers, and then the top set of scallop bow headers down. So we've got some silver foil, really pretty. So let's move to the sidebar. I pulled this overlay from Scribble Prints Co. It says you go hot cocoa, which is I've been holding on to this forever. I'm pretty sure it was a freebie and it is so perfect for this. So I'm going to do this full box overlay. I think over this one. Let me put down. I always do this. I tried to put the overlay on um, the box while it's laying down and I end up getting it stuck to the rest of the sticker paper. Anyways, let's put down the full box first and I don't think I'll need to white out the hexagon. But let's just see. No, and I didn't put it like perfectly in line with the date covers, but that's going to be okay. That will be okay. It'll just give me a little bit more room in my sidebar. I think that is so cute. You go, hot cocoa. I love that. Okay, I'm probably going to toss this. This just has a Buy More Scribble Prints Co. sticker. I obviously buy it. I don't need to remind myself with a sticker. All right, so moving it down the sidebar, she does have a This Week header that is that size, and then she had another one on right here. So she has this one that's like large that says This Week, and then I think I'm just going to stick with this one. All right, so let's do This Week. Do I want to put any washi or anything? Maybe pretty behind the sweater pattern. So I'm going to do this strip of washi that has like the pink cable knit. And then we'll do this week. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then the habit trackers. Uh, if I can put it down straight. There we go. And then I pulled some foiled scripts to go in these. So I've got my no spend and my vitamins. These are from Wild Summer Designs. So no spend vitamins. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to do the dinner's header and let's do it. I might stack these two. Oh, they came off together. Let's see if I can keep them together and just keep the pink cable knit pattern going. That will work. And then my dinners. It's a little bit thicker than the this week, but that's going to be fine. And then my weekly tracker box. Here. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to do the last strip of that washi. And then a label. And I'll be tracking how many weeks pregnant I am here. And then at the bottom, I might stack some washi. She's got some more washi strips. So 
I'm going to do this label because that will finish off that sheet. I'm not going to keep that this week. So let's do this label here. And then I'm going to white this out at least at the top. See if I need to white out all of it. I have my Weeks Pregnant Custom Script in silver foil from Bodacious Prints. I'm going to do that right at the bottom of that label. Perfect. Okay. So now let's compare this to the boxes. So that's just like the like fur pattern from here. That matches that box. This, I think I'm going to stack this at the bottom and just put that box on the other side so they're not on the same side. So let's start at the bottom. So that will be my sidebar. Okay, that worked out nicely. So now, I um, she does three sets of scallop bow headers in her kits. So normally I try and mix it up and do like some glitter, some bows, that sort of thing. But I just decided to use all the bow headers that she has. The problem, or not problem to other people, just for my brain, with scallops is I like them to over lap the full boxes. I don't like to see that gap in the scallop above the full boxes. So I have to do these at the same time as the full boxes, which means it's going to be a little bit different than the first time I laid down a spread in my 2020 planner. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'll probably speed you through it so you might be able to watch my trial and error. If it's too painful, we'll just see you once I get it all down. So I'm going to try and get down the rest of my full boxes and my bow headers and we'll be back in one minute. All right, so that wasn't as painful as I expected. Um, I just laid down the full boxes first at the bottom and then built from that. And I think this looks really cute. So I ended up just doing the purple um, scallop bows over the full boxes. And I tried to balance out the foil and the non-foil boxes. And I think this was really, really cute. I did just realize with her reformat, she does not have a weekend banner, which I had not noticed. So I pulled this foiled weekend banner from Bodacious Prints. And I actually think I'm going to put it right down here in the bottom washi. I don't want to take away from what's already foiled on the bottom washi. So I'm just gonna kinda, all right, that was almost a catastrophe. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kinda put it over a little bit. So it's not going to be like perfectly centered, but I mean, it's still over the weekend. So there we go. So that is from Bodacious Prints. And yeah, I have one um, full box left. I just didn't use one of the uh, non-foiled ones, so I'll hang on to that. But I've got plenty of functional items to use throughout the week. Let me give you a Viv Wiggle. I think this is looking really pretty and these colors are so nice and soft. There we go. So I'll be back in one minute with the first half of the week. All right, so I have the first half of the week starting on Monday. Of course, I wanted to mark Coffee Monday. So I pulled this sheet of custom coffee cups from the Crafty Banana. This is actually a fall sheet, but I thought this light purple color would match pretty well. I think so. And on this one, I just got latte on it um, instead of my name, but it obviously works for anything. And then I'm using my Coffee Monday script from Kenzie's Creations. Alrighty, and then I had to get to work. So um, I am going to kind of mix up marking work this week. She only has two flags in her kit. So on days that work um, takes up more time or I don't have a lot of other things going on. I'm going to mark it a little bit differently, which I'll show you. But for this day, I'm just going to use the flag from the kit and then a foiled work script from my spoiled planner. Perfect. All right, so that's for getting some work done. And then, because it wouldn't be a Monday if something, you know, didn't go wrong, um, my dog got out. She has been being so bad and running through our electric fence so we are actually sending her to training at the end of the month because 
we obviously are failing at it and we have a baby coming and we just need her to be well behaved so to mark her getting out I pulled this I'm so mad sheet from once more with love I really want to use this sheet because my husband and I both were chasing her and we were frustrated but this one looks like we're frustrated with each other which we weren't we were just frustrated with her so anyways <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna use that my husband and I don't don't really fight a lot and I don't think I'd mark it in here if we did. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna use that annoyed munchkin there for her getting out. So after that, we um, decided to go out to eat to lunch and get out of the house. So we went and got fuss. So I'm gonna use this sheet from Pretty and Primco. Um, it's technically ramen, but we're gonna use it for pho. It will be perfect. And then on our way home from getting lunch, we stopped at Lowe's and picked out the, or purchased the paint. We'd already picked out the color, but purchased the paint for our nursery, which is so exciting. So I'm just gonna use that little like wallet with a dollar sign there for going to Lowe's. And then um, I talked to my dad and he decided that he wanted to know the gender of the baby, which he had told us that he wanted it to be a surprise. He didn't want to know, and he changed his mind, and I was so excited to tell him he's going to have a grandson. So I'm going to do this foiled phone icon from Scribble Prince Co. to Mark talking to him and telling him. And then we took our pictures for our gender reveal on social media and um, we used our dogs for our pictures and it was so fun. So I pulled these half foiled hexagons from Saucy Stickers Co. And I'm just gonna use this gray one here and I'm gonna kinda do it sideways because I'm also going to pair the heart icon from the kit with it. So this is going to be for taking our pictures and posting our gender reveal. I think that's really cute. And then this night we just watched some football. It was the college um, championship games. So will this, nope, that won't work. Let's see what will fit. I guess one of these skinny labels will. They're so skinny, I'll have to just write pretty small in it. So that's just gonna be watching the football championship there alrighty so that was it for Monday moving on to Tuesday um, but first thing Tuesday morning um, this is what I was talking about I just had a ton of work to do so I'm gonna use this work scallop from Panda Bird Design. I wish in my head when I was thinking about it, it was pink, which I was like, it'll be perfect for this kit, but that's the plan scallop, which is okay. This still works. So it's her work scallop in silver foil, and I think it is so, so pretty. And it's about the size of a half box, so it takes up a good amount of space. So that is going to be for working for most of the day. Um, our dog got out again. And so now she's not allowed to go out on her own, which is annoying for both of us because she can't run around and we have to walk her on a leash. So for that, I pulled this sheet. Um, this is technically Headache Winston's, but I'm using it for her getting out again. <sighs> Usually when she gets out, she gets shocked and then she doesn't do it again because she didn't enjoy getting shocked but apparently now she just doesn't even care and just wants to drive us crazy so her training time cannot get here fast enough so anyways um yep yeah, so that's for her getting out that was really all that happened that day and then I went to prenatal yoga this um, evening so I'm finally using this sheet from Fox and Pip these girls uh, match perfectly with her purple leggings so, yeah, I'm going to put her right here in the white space. Oh, that's really perfect. Um, so that is for going to prenatal yoga. I love this sheet, and I always forget about it. So then this night, my husband and I had a um, game night. He actually found a new game for us. We love board games. It's like one of our favorite things to do together. And he was just perusing the game section at Walmart and found a Harry Potter Funkoverse board game. And I was like, okay, you know, the pieces are Funko Pops. It's not going to be 
you know, anything special. This game was so fun and really hard. So I pulled this Wizarding World sheet from Once More With Love. And Luna is actually not a character in the game, but I just figured she matched the best. So I'm going to do Luna here for our HP game night. And then I also pulled this game night script from Sweet Fox Papery. And I'm going to move it kind of down towards the bottom and I'm going to write Funkoverse right above that. It was really fun. I'm excited to play it again. So then my husband and I cooked dinner together. So I pulled this sheet from um, Tasseled Planner who is now closed. So I'm going to do that foiled uh, utensil icons there for um, cooking dinner. And then we just watched some Survivor together. So... I'm gonna do a little thing for watching Survivor. I'm just gonna do it right there. It'll just have some white space around it and that will be fine. It was not a very uh, exciting day, but it was a nice relaxing day. So moving on to Wednesday. First thing Wednesday morning, I picked up some Chick-fil-A for breakfast and I'm gonna use this Pretty and Primco chicken minis here. I've really got to get some more of this or find some other um, Chick-fil-A stickers are so cute. I know um, the Coffee Monsters Co. has them, and I've actually never placed an order with them, so maybe I will. If you know of anyone else that has Chick-fil-A stickers, definitely let me know because it's one of my favorites. So, picked up Chick-fil-A for breakfast, and then I had a meeting this day. So, I am going to do a quarter box here. It was a pretty long meeting. It was um, a team meeting. So I'm going to do that quarter box and then I pulled these um, desk icons from Lilac and Paper. These are her unfoiled ones. You can also get them in all the different foiled colors. But I'm just going to do that right there for my meeting. And then after my meeting, it was out of town so I had to drive back to where I live. So I decided to stop at Starbucks. So I'm going to do the car icon since I was driving back and then use my Starbucks run script. So this is from Kinsey's Creations. I've only been allowing myself one um, cup of coffee while I'm pregnant and I hadn't had any yet this day. So treated myself to a peppermint mocha and it was so nice. All right, so then I did have to get some work done once I got home. So I'm gonna mark it the same way as I did Monday and do a flag here. And then my uh, work script from my spoiled planner. So that's for getting some work done in the afternoon. And then my husband and I went to a basketball game. So I'm going to do, I think, one of these small labels here. And I pulled my UGA basketball custom script from Bodacious Prints. So I'm going to do that just right in that label, just to mark that we went to the game. We won, so that was fun. And then my husband and I actually, while we were driving um, from the game, we started discussing names. Um, we are not uh, very close to deciding on one, but it was just fun to discuss. So I pulled these foiled hearts from Avenue K Designs. I'm just going to use that purple color. That kind of matches. It works. So that's going to be for discussing name ideas. And then this night we just watched some more Survivor. So I'm going to do another little thing for that here at the bottom. Perfect. All right. So that is everything for the first half of the week. I'll be back in one minute with the second half. All right. For the second half of the week, starting on Thursday, I want to mark work. So I'm going to use another one of these Panda Bird Designs half scallop that is foiled. So pretty. There we go. So that is to mark working. And then I did some cleaning this day. So I'm going to use this little spray bottle icon from the kit to mark cleaning up some and then I did some filming so for filming I'm gonna do one of these small labels I think here and then I pulled my um, once more with love film edit upload sheet and I'm gonna do this little munchkin here the pink matches which is perfect and then i'm also going to do my film script from kinsey's creations 
right there. So that is for doing some filming. And then I did talk to my dad. So I am going to use the foiled phone circle icon from Scribble Prints Co. right there. So that's for talking to my dad. And then I had a very, very bad night this night. Um, it's going to sound so silly, but I was getting ready to take my pups on a walk and they were really excited and knocked over the board that had my puzzle on it that I had been working on since the first of the year. And in my hormonal state, that did not go over well. Um, since then, I have gotten it back together where it was, but it was pretty messed up and I was pretty upset. So that is going to be marking a bad night. So that is a Winston from Nightingale Paper Co. And I was just like, you know what? We're not going to do anything tonight. We are going to sit and have some ice cream and watch some Gilmore Girls. So that is what I did for the rest of the night. So this um, foiled ice cream cone is from Tasseled Planner. She is now closed and I didn't have a cone. I had some Ben and Jerry's, but that is just gonna be fine. So I'm gonna do that right there. So that's for ice cream and Gilmore Girls. And then once my husband got home, of course we had dinner together and then we watched some Survivor. So I'm going to do a little thing here at the bottom for watching Survivor. So that was it for Thursday. Moving on to Friday. First thing Friday morning, I um, uploaded a new video. It was late. It was supposed to go up on Wednesday. So it was very late, but that's okay. So for uploading, I am going to use this foiled um, YouTube play button. This is from Nicole Alexia Designs. So that's going to be for uploading. And then I did have to work. So I already used all the flags in the kit. So I actually pulled this foiled flag also from Nicole Alexia Designs. Figured that color was pretty close to the kit. And then I'm going to use my foiled work script from my spoiled planner. There we go. So that is for marking a work on Friday. And then I had a YouTube binge on my lunch break. So for that, I'm gonna use this laptop in the kit here. And then I pulled this YouTube binge script from Piper Paper Company. I do right there. That's really cute. All right, and then I took my pups on a walk. I felt really bad the day before that I did not, but it just, it was not gonna happen. So for our walk, I pulled this sheet from Bodacious Prints. This is her newest character, uh, Nimbus, a little cloud. So I am gonna do a Nimbus walking the pup right here. That small size fits perfectly, and then I'll just write walk. Perfect. And then this night I did some reading and took a nap. So I pulled this sheet from Fox and Pip. It is one of her happy mini size sheets. So I'm gonna do her little character here napping. Then I also pulled my read script from Kinsey's Creations. So that is going to be for reading, which led into napping, which usually happens. And then I worked on the puzzle some this night, so I am going to use another one of these half-foiled hexagons from Saucy Stickers Co. And then I'm gonna move it over just a tad because I also want to do um, one of these little TVs with it because of course, it was Puzzle and Gilmore Girls, and I actually think I'm gonna move it down some because it's pretty much what I did the whole night. It's been my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna move it down just a tad and then do the TV icon with it. So that is for Puzzle and um, Gilmore Girls. So I just realized that all I have left to mark is Gilmore Girls. So I was just going to use the hexagon for the puzzle. So let's see what we can do here. I think I'm actually going to put this on the angle 
and that's going to be for puzzle and then I'm going to pull a label to go here at the bottom to fill in the space and then I'll do the TV right here there we go that is perfect so that will be puzzle and Gilmore Girls my husband actually played video games with one of his friends this night so it was just me and Gilmore Girls and it was very nice so that is it for Friday moving on to Saturday first thing Saturday morning I slept in which was so nice so I'm gonna do one of these small labels here at the top and then I pulled these sleep in script and icons these are collab between Kinsey's creations and lilac and paper perfect we're sleeping in that morning and then we took our pups on a walk so I'm gonna use this paw print icon from the kit so we're going on a walk and then we went and got lunch together we picked up Euro wrap which is one of our favorites so I'm just gonna do this asterisk little thing for picking up Euro wrap for lunch and then um, we watched Aladdin the remake the live action um, it was really good I really enjoyed it um, so for that let's see maybe I'll do another label and then I pulled these foiled um, TV icons from Wild Summer Designs so that is for watching Aladdin and then this night we went and had lunch I mean dinner with um, some of our best friends I'm actually going to put this marquee at the bottom so I can see how much room I have I think I can do a half box in the marquee but I just want to see I wish her half boxes and her marquee weren't both like this glitter so I don't think I'm gonna do that I am gonna do the marquee at the bottom let's see what I want to do here um, I mean it was kind of a date night it was a double date night so maybe I could use this this is pretty large and yeah, maybe I'll do that I'm just gonna write put the date night here and then I'll just write with Kendra and Tom underneath it I think that'll be good okay so that's for having dinner with our friends and then this marquee is for um, watching UFC that night um, we actually bought the UFC fight so we didn't have to go stand and watch it <laughs> at a restaurant um, it was a pretty big fight. They weren't very exciting, but that's okay. So that is it for Saturday. Moving on to Sunday. Sunday morning, I had coffee and watched some YouTube. So I pulled this coffee attic sheet from Once More With Love. I'm going to do this pink munchkin right here. That is for coffee and YouTube. And then I folded some laundry. So let's see. Pulled this super cute sheet from Piper Paper Company. Let's see, I want to put it in a box. Let's see which size. I'm going to do this one with like the pink sweater. It's really cute. And it just says laundry day. Maybe one of these. Let's do that. Alright, so that is for folding laundry. And then I did some filming. So I'm gonna do the camera icon here in the kit. And then I'm also going to pull my film script from uh, Kinsey's Creations to go here. All right, so that's for filming. And then I did my Sunday grocery shopping. So for that, I'm gonna do a little thing think she had yeah I'll do this a dollar here um, I don't love that it's the same color as that header but it is going to be fine <laughs> so that is going to be for going grocery shopping then I picked up Chipotle for lunch which I just loved love Chipotle so I am going to do this little burrito bowl this is from pretty and prim co super cute and then I uploaded another video. Finally got caught up for the week. So I'm gonna do another um, foiled YouTube play button there for uploading. And then I took another nap because, you know, I'm pregnant and <laughs> that is just what is sounding nice to me 
pretty much every day. So I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. It is her little napping Winston. So I'm going to do him right there for having a nap. And then I watched some more Gilmore Girls and worked on my puzzle. So I want to do, I think I'm going to do one of these little labels. And then do the last um, TV icon in the kit. Here we go. Yes. All right. So that is for Gilmore Girls and working on my puzzle. All righty. So that is everything. I'm going to go through and fill all of this out. And I'll be back to show you completed spread. All right. Here is my completed spread. I absolutely love how this turned out. It is so pretty and wintry and all the silver foil give you a viv wiggle i definitely pulled in a lot of foil and it was a foiled kit so very very happy with this i think the colors are soft and pretty and it actually started getting cold here we hadn't really had much of a winter so um, I think this was the perfect kit and I'm so happy with it. If you'd like to see close-ups and pictures of this spread, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. And please comment below and let me know um, if it is cold where you live. And if so, do you get snow? Because we do not. But I'd love to hear about the climate wherever you live. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload videos every single week. And I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.